two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bottom dog. America has launched. Okay, it's a historic day for our nation and the International Space Program, really. And uh, it's a second attempt for Bob and Doug to launch on the Crew Dragon. And uh, behind this hatch is where they will uh, dock tomorrow. I wanted to talk a little bit about this very special flag right here. This flag was first flown on STS-1 with John Young and Bob Crippen. It was then later flown at the end of the space shuttle program on STS-135, of which uh, Doug happened to be a crew member on that mission as well. STS-135 brought this flag to the space station with the intent that it would be returned with the return of the first commercial crew rocket that would launch from Florida. So at the conclusion of their stay on board the, the space station with us, they will return this flag with them and uh, and kind of complete the journey, if you will. Down in Florida right now, they, they had the go no go for uh, for launch. Historic day. I'm super honored and, and excited to be part of part of it in a small way and uh, and greet these guys when they come through the hatch. It means a lot to everybody. It means a lot to a lot of people. A lot of hard work. All right. All the best from uh, Node 2 of the International Space Station, the very forward part of our ship. This is the bow, so to speak, and uh, go Dragon. Count. I'll take it away, John. So it's SpaceX launch day. They're, minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds. You heard T minus 13 minutes, 30 seconds counting down. We're continuing to load fuel onto the first stage. That should finish up. Pretty and, cool. Uh, second stage, uh, I think just, they just uh, said the last big go, no go for weather's at seven minutes. So that's like six minutes from now. Into the storage vessels on the first and second stage gets us, uh, just like we do with liquid oxygen, the maximum amount into the storage We've got uh, so that we cameras going in multiple windows. Yvonne has a camera in there. Right I have a camera in there. Quiet We've got a camera in the, the, in the now, wharf window. So there's Yvonne right now. And he's, he's setting up uh, a camera and we're trying to figure out the best angles to get pictures. 10 minutes to go, man. SpaceX Dragon displays are configured for launch. Displays configured Bobby, for launch. Awesome. Bob, Doug, on behalf of the entire SpaceX team, it's been a huge honor to help you get ready for today's historic mission. Thanks, Jay. Uh, it is absolutely our honor to be part of this uh, huge effort to get uh, the United States back in the launch business. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you for more, but thank you. Get Bobby, some, Doug and working. Bob. Here we go. And then the fuel load will complete. So close. Three fifty. In one minute, we're going directly over KSC. Nine, they're able to see where their fuel loading is at. Are they progressing down? What they count? 
AFTS final setup started. Going to get the picture in the war. Three and a half minutes to launch. And the strong back is now reclining away from the Falcon 9. Great pictures right over the pad. Come on. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Yeah! SpaceX Dragon, we're go for launch. Let's light this candle. T-minus, 30 seconds. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T-minus, 15 seconds. Continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion. Here we go. Going to the cupola. Yeah. He plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Copy shut down. Second engine cut off. Stage one engine looking for that uh, stage one landing for shortly after. Is that pressurized? Mm hmm. Actually, just within a few seconds of each other. No, it's like pressurized. And it's right at about 12 minutes yeah, when the Dragon will separate. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we saw a zero G indicator floating around there. They, they do ensure that the vehicle okay. is not spinning and is in good We're going to have two new crewmates here tomorrow. Separate. Well, a few things have to happen between now and then, but Small that was a big thing. Using cold gas thrusters. Well, it's DM2 docking morning. Just woke up. I'm gonna hurry up and get my exercise in. This is a busy day with uh, other stuff, but super exciting. What an awesome day it was yesterday to watch that launch go. Knowing that they're coming here it made it even more special. All right, I'm gonna go knock out my exercise. They're right holding right at 200 meters right now. They're just wrapping up manual flight test objectives and uh, and then in a short a short little bit we'll start into the approach two and I've got this procedure here which we're following along right now we're in block Charlie monitoring dragon manual flight test the vehicle mode is manual flight Two hundred meters from the center line of the space of the space station. And uh, as soon as I get inside of two hundred meters here, I'm going to switch to a different reference point, and we'll reference from the docking port. We do plan to hold briefly at waypoint two. So reminder that crew visors down is are not required until the ground is preparing to command the final approach. Chris, you can monitor now for step two. That's step two in one decimal one zero four. Crew dragon approach and retreat monitor. Copy step two alert. Steps three and four is complete. Crew is on the International Space Station is ready for uh, docking. Meters, here we go. Dragon copies all on the big loop. Go for that. 
Go for docking. That's a good one. Four three and four in one decimal one zero four crew dragon approach and retreat monitor. Copy steps three and four. Dragon on the big loop. Our visors are down. Visors down. They are. Copy visors down. They're sitting right there, 20 meters from the docking port. One more, one more view. Station, dragon on the big loop. We are inbound from approach to. Uh, yeah, I have all this schematic just need. In this time, we should be in the... Yeah, Palotnik has to know. Okay. Yeah, by, by here. By here, okay. 16, 30, 40. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time for the hooks. I was so blessed with pictures. I got some. What? Oh, wrong camera. <laughs> Dragon SpaceX docking sequence is complete. SpaceX Dragon, we copy docking complete. Just like to say that it's been a real honor to be just a small part of this uh, nine year endeavor since the last time the United States spaceship has docked with the International Space Station. Dragon arriving. The crew of Expedition 63 is honored to welcome uh, Dragon and the commercial crew program to uh, welcome aboard the International Space Station. Bob and Doug, glad to have you as part of the crew. Well done. Bravo Zulu. Never happy. Thank you, Chris. We have a Dragon. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing great. How was your night of sleep? Yeah. Go in. Look. Smart to be. Sounds like go for hatch opening. Here comes the handle. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, it's quiet. You can see the mechanisms rotating. Clicks there at the end of the travel. What's up, big dogs? How are you doing? How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> That's a smooth hatch, man. We couldn't even hear the mechanisms moving. We didn't even feel it. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley.